Welcome back, adventurers. Today we begin episode 26. I feel like this might be our second to last episode, perhaps third to last. But we're getting really close to the end of this game. It's kind of sad as I've been greatly enjoying this run. And I don't want it to end. And I've also greatly enjoyed you all coming along for the ride, so thank you very much for that. Our last episode, we completed Will's quest. We did the Legend of Answer. We also found out that the Emperor is actually the founder of Baldur's Gate himself, Baldurin, which is a crazy lore drop at Hilarion Studios. Today, I think we're going to start off with one of the main quests, and that is to get Gortash's Netherstone. And this quest also ties into Karlak's companion quest, as she is looking to confront Gortash, as Gortash is the one that is responsible for Karlak being sent to the Nine Hells and serving Zariel. So I do have Karlak in my group right now. I also have Minsk, and of course my character, and then we have a wizard to back us up. So three frontliners in a wizard. I thought that would be appropriate for confronting Gortash, who was the leader of the Steel Watch. Let's go ahead and head out. I think we're heading to Worm's Rock. According to the map, that is where Gortash currently is. All right, so I'm at the Worm's Rock waypoint right now. And the map is saying that Gortash is, I think, directly above us here, but I'm not entirely sure how to get up to whatever level he is on. This brings us down to the cells. This is a dead end right here, and it doesn't look like there's any other way up over here. I've got a long so we're going to head back to the audience hall area. I think most of the Flaming Fists, at least in this immediate area, are dead right now. Because last episode, we were forced to kill several of them. But in the audience hall area, I'm not too sure. There's probably a few up there. Don't waste a step. Let me just double check and make sure that we can't go up over here. This is exciting. I'm almost 100% sure that we will be in combat with Gortash. I'm kind of curious what he'll have up his sleeve. Alright, let's go ahead and stealth my party. Because this is where there are still some flaming fist soldiers or soldiers of some sort. Like I said, Okay. Alright, um... We have concussion grenades dropped at our feet. And it looks like incineration casters about to blow us to smithereens. And we are facing Black Gauntlet fighters. The fighters that support Bane, the god of tyranny. Fuck yes. Alright, let's start off with... Let's see if we can throw this. We're gonna pick that up. And I'm going to go into my inventory, and we are going to chuck that grenade back. Where the heck is it? Didn't I just pick it up? Oh, there it is. Go ahead and throw it right back. Give them a taste of their own medicine. Oh my god, that is so good. I didn't expect it to insta-kill her. Alright, and then we'll move out of the way. Unless I can pick up the other one, too. I can. We can throw twice, because we have extra attack. So let's chuck it at this guy. Good idea. Those are so, so powerful that I feel like I should save them for Gortash. Alright, move up now. Oh, Minsk wasn't even in combat. That's funny. Still have a ton more. Coming from the western wing. I'll go ahead and rage next turn. I don't want to lose the rage. Go get him, boo. No, I can't reach. I haven't really been using this, so I just want to see what it does here. 
Okay, nice. I'll send the bear straight on. All the way to the enemy. Nice. Got one, two. Okay, I think we're pretty good here. Where do these concussion grenades keep coming from? Oh, are these things shooting them out? Not entirely sure. All right, I'm kind of in the cone right here, so I'm going to misty step away. We'll get some cover. Hmm. I don't want to send Gale front line. Here, we'll go right there. Bane's command. My bear is such a champ. Aura of Terror from the God of Tyranny. Okay, let's go help out our bear. I wonder if this would explode in my inventory. I'm going to pick it up and just chuck it. I'm afraid that it might... I don't know. The pin's already been pulled, maybe? Well, let's just throw it. And then we can also take a shot. Good thing we got out of the way of that. Nice. They're getting hit by their own traps. Nobody said the followers of Bane were the smartest. Practical. We have five rage charges at level 12. Pretty incredible. See what's up here. Oh, perfect. Wonder if I can jump over to that one too. Sorry about that, Boo. I ran Boo right through the fire. We're gonna have Minsk follow. We're gonna go right through the fire too. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> I took one damage from the fire and I actually broke my concentration with him. We don't even have to goad. These guys are already attacking my bear right now. Let's see what we got. Goading roar, honey paws. Yeah, let's try honey paws. I think that disarms the target. When it hits, that is. Blight on mints. Blight's pretty powerful, so we're going to counter that spell. Light's a level 4 spell, so let's do a level 4 counter spell. I think it was worth it. What do we have right now? Sure, let's use Unstable Backlash. Nice, now we have teleport. Oh, teleport went away.
Go, wolf, go! Why are these grenades getting popped out? close okay so we should have reckless attack with great weapon master toggled on let's see what that's given us 75 percent chance that is incredible this is going to be so much damage and then we'll do it again perfect Do an offhand attack on this guy. Nice. A clunk. Hey, with disadvantage. Oh, because of Aura of Terra. Terror, excuse me. I can't hear my own voice that well when I'm recording, so sometimes I mumble things or I say things weirdly. That's usually the reason why. Guardians, that would be quite annoying. Yeah, we're gonna counter it. There'll be a lot of AoE damage on pretty much all my party members. Oh, we gotta get out of the way of that. That's not good. Oh, that's real bad. Minsk is right in the blast zone. Nice. When you rage, you can shoot a bolt of light from your chest each time. Alright, so I'm a little bit worried that Minsk is going to get nailed by this incinerator. I think he might just be outside of the blast radius. But this character, on the other hand... Aha! alive. Minsk took it like a champ. Oh wait, am I using... I'm still on non-lethal right? Oh my god. I just knocked all of them out. These guys are servants of Bane. Carlac, take care of them. <laughs> nice infernal spear. We don't like these guys. Oh, we killed that guy. I hear people talking. Yeah, look at that. Worms Rock Bridge and then the Rivington District. Larian did a phenomenal job in this area. Okay, back to what we were doing. Let's take a short rest. Might as well sit on the throne real fast. Yeah. Feels right. Oh, this looks like a way up. Okay. Yeah, sure. I guess we're taking it. Let's hit F5. And we'll enter the party into sneak. For some reason, the bear doesn't go into sneak, nor does Boo. Hey, 
and I have not been up here before, so this is new territory. On my way. Step carefully. There's a trap. Are you serious? The whole party just walks right over it. <laughs> Everybody, come back this way. Peace. Let's just shoot at this damn thing. I can. You can't. Okay. Well, let me try to disarm. No. We can do this. We just need a single file line, children. Single file line. They're not going to listen. Okay. I'm assuming Gortash is in there. Maybe. I don't know. Hey, Carlac, your turn. Shadowlack. Soften my step, boo. No, get out of my boot. <laughs> get out of my boot. All right, we got to be careful here. Trap heaven. Oh, man. Okay. Something. I have a feeling right now that this is a battleground. Are you guys getting the same vibe right now? We have verticality. I'm not entirely sure. Let me sneak wolf ahead. Out of sight, out of Leave everybody else back. I don't think anybody's out here, so we can probably come out of stealth. This way, at least if we get in combat. Oh my god, look at this. Arrow of monstrosity slain. That's incredible. We get in combat, at least I can put Gal up here on the high ground. There it is, the beautiful Chianthar River. South to Am. Oh, wait, that's north. I'm all thrown off right now. We're gonna just push on. Oh, this is South Tom. Okay, all right, there we go. That's north to Waterdeep in Neverwinter. Got some smoke powder barrels in here. Could carry a few of those. Need to find a way forward. Step carefully. There's a trap. All right, I think we're going to go in now. My bear is sneaking behind me. If not over, then through. Be wary. This place is trapped. Which weapons, my friend? There you go. Ah. Yep, this looks like where Enver Gortash would be hanging out. He's probably in here somewhere, maybe just not rendering in at the moment. I'd love to, thanks. Saddle up. Hot foot, hot foot. Place is trapped. Wonder if I should summon in a new bear. Or heal the bear. Right, yeah, we're gonna summon in a new bear. plaques right here. Not sure if they're dukes or what. Grand Duke. Yeah, okay, they are. Should mind my step. And there he is, Enver Gortash. I mean, we don't want to... I don't think I just... I really would like to see the cutscene. 
right now as opposed to just attacking him even though strategically it would be better just to attack him right now we know we're going to kill him then we'd be missing out on some epic cutscenes so let's send my character ahead by himself and here we go very well we could have been allies powerful ones and yet your actions sparked the fall of my steel watch. Whatever bargain we might have made fell with it. I did what I had to do. I have no regrets, Gortash. Is that what you... The brain awakens. It's time I take matters into my own hands. We could have moved mountains. We could have shaken the plains. And you chose imperfection. I think I will hang your corpse in the wide. The Archduke's would-be assassin. The people will celebrate your fall and my part in it. Your bones will be a souvenir of what could have been. Now, roll over and die. Hmm. Give up your life just as easily as you are ready to give up the stones. Okay, here we go. Did they not see my giant slayer sword? Oh man, this is gonna be... Wait, what the heck? Why did he just attack his own guy? Okay, let's take a look and see what they have here. The Shell of Resistance, one turn. Micro Modron Force Curtain granted this entity immunity to thunder damage and resistance to elemental damage for one turn. Along with an extra bonus action and extra movement speed. Not too bad. Not worried about that at all. What the heck does this guy have on him? Projectile fired at this character is sent back to where it came from. Okay. And my character is a little messed up right now with something. Or of terror. Okay, what we're gonna do here. I wonder if I can sneak through here without taking an opportunity attack. I can. Let's push this guy. I'm gonna go right after Enver Gortash. Gotta turn him this way a little bit. Oh! Um. Ooh, this is perfect. I have some movement speed left. I have to take a double opportunity. Oh, only one opportunity attack. Here we go. Seven damage. Not worried about it. Okay, this is this is awfully close to be throwing a grenade. But you're damn straight. I'm gonna try it. Okay, that didn't really do anything. Well, damn. All right. That's unfortunate. That was a little better. Crap's all over this joint. Dang it. That's not good. That's not good at all. I don't have any... Don't have an action to get out of here right now. Okay, we can pick it up with a different character. Let's go ahead and rage. And then we'll go back to Minsk. I wonder if I can get him in there to grab that. 
Oh, we definitely can. These freaking traps are everywhere, man. Holy crap. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's throw another grenade. I've barely been using grenades this entire run. Now I'm feeling like I should. Oh damn, I didn't, okay. I guess I hit Wolf a little bit. That's okay, we're not worried about it. All right, now let's bring in Gale. I wonder if I could... Interesting. Is there any high ground in here? It doesn't look like it. I wonder if I could Misty Step. Still be hidden. I think I probably can. Let's see if this works. And it did. Kind of trapped in here, though. A little bit worried. A little bit too close to that guy right there. Thinking about actually just taking this guy out right now. Screw it. God, it's so powerful. Dang. Things are freaking everywhere, dude. This is crazy. Alright, we'll move to right here. I think that's safe right there. Summon Mage Hands as a distraction. And here we go. Oops, I think I gave up a Carlac. Hold on, did I? No, I don't think I did. I got this. Oh, I thought that guy was dead over there. A little bit close to that right there, but I have nowhere else I can go. No, I took an opportunity attack with uh, with the mage hand. Place is trapped to high health. Oh, who? Come on in, man. Oh, man. Carlac almost... Okay, somebody just died in there. <laughs> what is going on right now? Hold on. Let's see what our rage is for Carlac right now. Protective lights. Boost to armor class. We're going to leave that. Damn, dude. What is... What is going on right now? Tyrant's Blessing, level 6. Oh my god. Create a heavy magical chain that binds your targets, having their movement speed. If the chains are still present at the beginning of your next turn, they break, dealing 8 to 64 force damage. Not today, Gortash. What is... What is the spirit right here? Manifestation of Tyranny? Oh, I knew it wasn't gonna... Oh man, okay. Oh, I knew. I just knew it. I knew things weren't going to be that easy. Excellent. Seriously, I might have to retreat out of this room. Aura of Brutality. All servants of Bane around this character do an extra 1d4 fire. And I could kill these things pretty fast. What is, like, what is all this right now? I thought this was going to be an easy fight. The way it started. 
anywhere I can teleport to, Misty Step to. These guys are everywhere. And Wolf is officially dead, too. Pretty rough. I think I'm just going to stay right here with Gal. Carlax one shot. That's not good. Not good at all. Gotta have some nice. I gotta have a couple nice healing potions. There we go. Oh, Gortash used enlarged too. And it really didn't give me that much health, did it? Gotta think for a second, y'all. One second. Thinking we might have to get out of this room. I don't really know what's going on right now. It's freaking me out. No opportunity attack, okay. That was definitely a Minsk thing to do right there. I didn't mean to do that. Now I'm trapped in here. Okay. We need our cleric. Really fast. My bear's already dead too. A little bit nervous that if I move Boo up here, I can't tell. Yeah, it looks like I'm just gonna put Boo right here. On your ashes, all the will be reborn. <laughs> we have to counter this. It's another level six spell. I have to try to counter it with level four. How do we get this stupid shell off? Avatar of Tyranny. What was that? Oh my god. <laughs> Empowered on arm strike, 10 to 44. This is nutty. All right, gal. Um, first thing I need you to do is pull off a resurrection here. Actually, let's see if we have any potions of speed. I don't. Dang, that's not a good start. Okay, let's resurrect Wolf. I think I'm going to start moving out of this room. So let's move Gal up here. We're going to teleport all the way to over here. Okay, and then move to right. I think I'm out of it. Okay, I might be taking damage. Crap. I'm gonna disengage. This is. This is crazy. See how far I could get Minsk. Take one opportunity attack. I'm not even showing as an opportunity attack. And get him to right here through the fire. Is Gortash not doing an opportunity attack? It doesn't look like he has one right now. Whose battle cry is too high for your hearing? But you should tremble all the same. I don't even understand what just happened. Oh my god. Oh, 
will not take this city. I need my cleric. I have to play the bomb game chuck grenades. I don't know how else I could do this Throw a grenade at our feet over here. It's showing one I'm not seeing it Having a hard time picking it up because Minsk is in the way. Damn, I ran over here to pick that up. And I'm not even gonna get it. Not even sure if it's worth resurrecting or picking him up at the moment. I think that I, I, did I just pick up a smoke fire. I thought it was concussion. Oh no, the concussion's right there. It's about to explode right now, so it explodes at the end of its turn. So what we could do is could bring it away from Carlac. I could bring it over here, actually. Let's try this. Bring it to right here. I have a little bit... Of, I have a good amount of movement. Let's drop it. Oh, man. Just dropping it exploded it. <laughs> this is not going good at all. How are we going to pull this one off? Oh, man. Okay. How in the nine hells are we going to pull this one off? Minsk is going to get hit from the incinerator also. Damn it, man. I can't even throw a potion back there. Oh, I can. Nice. Oh, that's great. It missed. Oh, that's real great. Okay. All right. His hands right here. Bane's chosen. I am your death. Advantage on strength saving throws, strength ability checks. Resistance to elemental damage for one turn. Bubbles 
down right now. This is where it would be nice to have curriculum of strategy because I could put them down so quickly. Dominate person. 42% chance on him. <laughs> oh, what does this do? There's a... What is this? I don't know what that is. Honestly, I think I'm going to try dominate person kind of desperate right now And you never know Didn't work, okay All right, Minsk is dead wolf is still alive um, what we could do here is Could resurrect Minsk and start bringing him this way might not be a bad idea And then we could take a potion of supreme healing. We're not out of this yet. And then let's try to. Oh, look. Oh, so close to getting out of the radius. I either have to take an attack from him or get hit by this grenade or the hand. I guess it's the hand that's doing the circle. Honestly, I think it's better to take an attack of opportunity from from Gortash. And you know what? I'll go this way. We're going to work to get Wolf back up right now. I'm not giving up. <laughs> nice, Karlak. Love you. We'll go all the way over here. Perfect. Okay, I guess we didn't want to go there with Minsk. This might be the most trapped room I think I've ever experienced in a video game. Alright, so let me see what this attack is. Like, what is this? Attached to all of us. Chain of Tyranny. Affected entity has only half its movement speed. When the chain breaks, it takes 8d8 force damage. Not even concentration. Oh, it is concentration, so we could break his concentration. All right. Let's go ahead and do that. I am going to also take the attack. Hold on, let's see. Winter's Breath goes this far. I'm really gotta try to break his concentration. This would be maddening, but I'm gonna try it. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Barely made it there. Okay, now we're doing it. So definitely want to focus on the grenades. At all costs. Not doing too bad right now. Honestly, I might even run up there. No, it's not worth it. Let me back up a little bit. We're going to throw a health potion. And that to Karlak. We're going to actually get it this time. Got it. Okay. And then rage. And I could just... This, it seems like there's probably if I came into this fight again, there's like so many different strategies that you could take here My initial reaction would be to pull him and then bring everybody else outside here and not fight in that room But also I'm wondering like is it worth it going around and just killing all these manifestations? It might be Could do it pretty fast with magic missiles too. I'm out of spell slots though All right, so let's try to stay spread out a little bit. I'm gonna move Karlak to right here Minsk is downed right now, so he can't do anything. We can actually get him up with Gale, though. 
but also telekinesis him. Okay, we're not doing too bad right now. I'm gonna move Gal out of the room. Oh, it's like a breath of fresh air. Stop breathing. Despite everything. Okay, we are still alive. Can you believe this? Definitely gotta get out of the that trap though. Pretty sure I can walk right across this. We don't want to go next to Carlac, though. We'll go right... Go right... Here. That way, if he attacks, he's also going to hit his own guy. Let's say a little prayer. I think I have one more healing potion? Nope, I don't think I have any more healing potions. Giant strength, that'd be pretty sweet. Poison resistance, arcane cultivation. I should actually use that with Gale. That'd be a big help right now. Oil, potion of flying. Ten temporary hit points if I drink that and become blessed. Sure, we'll give it a try. Oh my god, why did you get a critical hit? Come on. Vortash, 126 HP. Let's see, what do we currently have? Enemies that hit them take 1d6 force damage. Yeah, we're gonna change it. Oh, nice. I don't know how much that's going to do, but maybe it does help. Hmm. Okay, now we're talking. Now we are talking. Alright, we got to get him to drop his concentration. First and foremost. No way! Are you serious? <laughs> the grenade's like right at my feet. You're gonna give him an opportunity attack, my man. You gotta be kidding me. That's pretty rough. Now I can't even reach Bane. Oh man, or I can't even reach Gortash with Gale. Oh, okay. All right, let's go. We got this. Awesome, beautiful. He held his concentration though. Nope, we broke his concentration. That was perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna Hunter's Mark. No more traps in here. Perfect. Okay. All hope is not lost yet. That grenade is going to blow, though. And it looks like Wolf has dove on top of it, and he's going to take the grenade like a champ for the team. That was the play right there. It was all intentional. Trust me. You guys got to trust me. You can always use the Netherese Orb. Blow up the entire map. Telekinesis doesn't have that. No.
All right, so here we go. Great weapon master, toggled on. 84% chance. Beautiful. This is, this is crazy. And then we can push Gortash and get out of the blast radius of that grenade. Oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. That's such a cool spell right there. I don't know what to do for you, Wolf. I don't got any potions. I'm certainly not running over there. Oh, perfect. It's over. It's game over. Pick that grenade up with her. Go back to Minsk. Um, it looks like I'm not going to take an opportunity attack. So let's just back up. Go back to Karlak. Gortash. Let me hit F5. I don't think I've saved once during this fight. And uh, let's chuck this grenade. And I think it's game over. Oh my god, don't... Okay. Oh. I got so scared that I was going to hit the water elementals back and not make it to Gortash. Gortash has died. We did it. We did it, y'all. That was a crazy, crazy... It's not over yet. We have to get through these traps right here. That was a crazy encounter. Didn't expect like 80% of the things that went down. Didn't even know what was going on for the first half of the flight with all these explosions. And it looks like Wolf is going to die a really sad death right now. But I don't know if there's anything I can do about it. If I could pick up... Huh, I could make it over there actually. Pick up both the grenades. <laughs> there's no way I get that one. It's going to be too hard to get. Okay, well, let's just move on. These mortals be. <laughs> Gotta survive the traps. <laughs> and we did it. We got a lot of looting to do here. We completed Karlak's quest and also killed Gortash, which was the main quest. Incredible. Just in case there's some more surprises here. Call on Fern. Call Boo back. Boo needs to be here for the celebration. Let's have a chat with Karlak. It's finished. It's done. I need to see him up close. I need to know he's dead. So Gortash is nothing more than a pile of flesh? Same as the rest of us. Perhaps a bit uglier. I feel like I should laugh, but just too gods damn tired. Is that it then? Killed the bastard who ruined my life and now I crawl into a corner and die? Am I fucking missing something? What do you mean? It makes no sense. None of it means anything. <sighs> he's dead. And he's no fucking sorrier now than he was before. What was the point? I'm still dying. I'm dying. 
I'm going to die. Maybe we can still fix your engine. Perhaps stabilize it. Got a miracle in your back pocket you forgot to tell me about. I'm going to be as dead as a Gortash any day now. Any moment. And what then? Off to the city of judgment to waste into oblivion. Into the dirt to get eaten by maggots. Is that it for me? Is that fucking all? And you, you'll just keep going, won't you? Watching the stars, warming your hands on the campfire, dancing, eating, making fucking love all night. All of it, all of it! That's my reward for everything I suffered. That's why I survived ten years of torment. The fighting, the clawing, the loneliness. <laughs> Fucking loneliness! All of it! So I could rot! Because the person I trusted the most gave me away to the devil! <laughs> it isn't fair. <laughs> I don't want it like this. <laughs> Tough responses here. It is what it is. It's time to soldier forward with the time you have left, Karlak. I deserve better. I deserve more. I deserve to live. I deserve to live. What the fuck am I supposed to do now? I don't know, Karlak, but whatever it is, I think we're meant to do it together. Let's get out of here. I've always hated this place. Stupid fucking gigantic bridge or whatever. I think I need to go to camp for a while. Be alone. Scream at the sky. You can come and find me later if you want to. You might only find a pile of ash, but I'll be there all the same. No time to rest. Well, damn. That was kind of sad. We killed Gortash. We should take his nether stone. Not really sure to what to make out of that right there. Fabricated Arbalest. 4 to 18 crossbow. Nice. About time I got an upgrade. You also get illuminating shot. And dazzling ray. A beam of brilliant light that bi blinds all creatures in its path. That's pretty cool. Cloth of authority. Can't be frightened and cannot be afflicted with other emotion-altering conditions. You have advantage on intimidation checks and insight checks. You gain a plus one bonus to charisma checks and saving throws for those boots. I could use the charisma bonus. And the netherstone studded gauntlet. Very rare. Your unarmed attacks deal an additional 1 to 4 force damage. You gain a plus 1 bonus to spell save DC. I feel like I found a lot of really good, mostly monk gear that I have in my inventory and camp storage. Such 
potential. You have done very well indeed. The Netherstones pulse with psionic energy, permeating you, pulling you in line with their rhythm. The thrum quickens, rising, cresting on a single feeling. A location. As I expected, the docks under the city must lead to a morphic pool. That's where the Chosen imprisoned the brain. Why would they put it there? To conceal it, one would imagine. And to maintain the illusion of their own control above ground. Do you think we're ready to face the Elder Brain? With the stones in hand and the Chosen dead, we stand as good a chance as we ever will. As to how good a chance that is, I cannot say, but I have hope. Something's breaking behind us. I'm not ready. You are right to be cautious. A fight with the most powerful being in all the realms is not to be entered into ill-prepared. Once we cross into the Elder Brain's domain, there will be no turning back. We will end this one way or another, in death. Thrall them, or freedom. Finish your business here before you proceed. The brain will be waiting for us. There we have it. The final part of the main quest before the final quest. We have three nether stones. Note from Helsick. So Helsick is the one that works at the Devil's Fee. We dealt with last session. Lord G, yes. If necessary, I could get you back into the House of Hope for the right price, of course. Though I doubt they'd be happy to see you again. You didn't exactly leave on the best of terms. However, you know your business better than I or anyone else. This is a bust of the god Bane as he first appeared to Gortash in dreams. And was then described to a Rivington sculptor. I'm going to explore this room a little bit, and then uh, we're going to go back to camp and talk to Karlak. I think she has more to say. And then that'll be it for not the entire episode, but part one of this episode. Dame Maffrey, the orphan's friend, founded several orphanages in the outer city, as the lower city was no place for children. And the upper city declined to sponsor an orphanage, founder of the Flaming Fist. Later history is kinder to him than accounts from his time, which portray him as a cruel and hard-handed mercenary commander. So much lore, it's crazy. First of the Bormal Patriarch family to start his own venture, Alec is the unscrupulous bastard who made their fortune in mines and vineyards. Baldur's Gate ship captain Morgan Redlocks wed a man thrice her age. After the wedding, the groom suffered a heart attack. <laughs> Redlocks converted his merchant ships into a pirate fleet. Nice. Carrick started from nothing, built a financial empire, and founded the counting house. Oh. He refused to mingle with the other patriarchs, saying, They didn't want me when I was an urchin, and now they can't have me. The counting house is the mob run bank that we were at many, many episodes ago. Studies of the Elder Brains. A report for Lord Gortash by Scribe Yanthus. An illithid Elder Brain is many things. Absolute ruler is... Start over. An illithid Elder Brain is many things. Absolute ruler of its Mind Flayer colony. Fount of procreation through its production of illithid larva. The so-called tadpoles. But most of all, an Elder Brain is a supremely powerful organic calculator. A mental machine able to process a vast number of simultaneous thought process. It is always a hundred moves ahead and cannot be surprised except by a sudden confluence of unexpected variables. Mortal genius and innovation are no match for its sheer computational power. Below this, a note is appended in Gortash's precise handwriting. No weakness but the unexpected. It seems I shall need unexpected allies. That's a little terrifying. Okay. This 
city reeks of evil. Or perhaps Boo just needs to bathe. This city reeks of evil. Light on my feet. Okay. I think we're good here. I think I'm over encumbered right now. Oh, I don't need Gortash's key. So, all right, I don't need knock. Helldusk boots. You cannot be forcibly moved by a foe's spells or actions, and you ignore the effects of difficult terrain. And you get Hellcrawler. Teleport to an area and deal 2 to 16 fire damage. Damn. A lithid jar with larva. An accelerated grand design. I'm going to read this. It seems important towards the story. Accelerated Grand Design, the key points. As top leaders in the Bay Knight hierarchy, to effectively implement what the Mad Elhun, known as Blue Apex, named the Accelerated Grand Design, it's important that you understand its broad outlines. Don't worry about the details, leave those to me. The central element of this plan is that our dominated Elder Brain lays lithid tadpoles that induce a state of suspended seramorphosis, in which the host does not transform into a mind flayer. This is like the story of our character right now. Instead, the tadpole become psychic minions of the hive mind of the Elder Brain, which they perceive as a goddess, a deity of conquest called the Absolute. This Absolute, however, obeys the commands of the Chosen of the Dead Three, so Catherick, Orin, and Gortash we just killed. And needless to say, as Bane is the god of tyranny, our allies who worship Baal and Merkel must, in the end, defer to us. So Bane has always been the leader of the Dead Three of Baal and Merkel. So we're going to pick that up for sure when I examine lore later on. Mace plus two, nice. I haven't seen one of those yet. And let's go ahead and teleport back to the camp. But actually, it's like we have some more cool books here. The Astral Prism Heist. Gortash Private Memoir. The Astral Prism Heist. After that dream I had about the Githyanki threat to our accelerated grand design, my research led me to pour through the old archives left behind in Moonrise Towers by the High Heralds. These records included some surprising early sources, both Githyanki and Githzerai, that mentioned a relic or artifact called the Astral Prism, or Prism. Though the source of its power was unstated, this artifact was reputed to be able to project a field that disrupted a lithid psionics. Such an artifact would clearly be an existential threat to both our absolute ambitions and the grand design. All three of the ancient sources agreed that the Astral Prism was in the hands of the Githyanki Lich Queen, Blacketh. Thus was born the plan to send a tadpoled strike team and a regrown nautiloid piloted by the Emperor to steal the Astral Prism from Blacketh. Okay, to camp we go. We'll talk to Carlac first. Time to press ahead. I think everybody's gonna have something to say. Hey, soldier. Oh, she doesn't have anything to say right now. Okay. How about Jahira? Garlic needs time. Space. But more than this, I think. She needs to know she is not alone. What Karlak needs is for her friends to help her find a cure. And answers. Justice. Ten years of her life back. All manner of things we cannot give her. She's already lost her heart. She deserves better than to have her friends heap happy lies upon her. I'm not ready to give up on her just yet. Good. Perhaps she needs that too. Okay. So curious about the conclusion to Gal's quest. If indeed we have done to rid Faerun of this man, all helm hair and a haughtiness. Oh, this was the Lord Gortash we were sworn to do battle with, Boo. All the better, then. Hail. 
The agony of knowing the end is near. I spent years swatting away my fears and doubts of my infernal fate. And I eventually made my peace. I had to. You will too, Karlak. I know it. Everybody's got something to say on the Karlak situation. I'm still thinking about Karlak. About what she said. God. There really is no justice in the world. Poor Karlak. Having to face her own mortality in such a definitive manner. Though the rest of us are still liable to perish, if it's any consolation. You gotta put clothes on, Gail. No sense dawdling. Karlak has precious little time left to her. Would do better than to waste it. Okay, I think this is going to be a good natural stopping point for episode 26, part 1. And then we'll continue part 2 of this same episode here in a few moments. And let's continue on with this epic adventure. As you can see, Karlak has something to say to us. Hey, soldier. You're back. I've been worried about you, Karlak. Are you alright? Yeah, despite my best efforts. I kept trying to flop over and give up, but Karlak just won't let me. Did I miss anything important? We can talk about that later. I'm more concerned about you. Would you believe it if I said I'm all right? You know, soldier, we're so fucked. The Dark Three are trying to consume the Sword Coast. We've still got tadpoles in our eyes, and I've got a ticking time bomb in my chest. I'm not sure anyone has ever been more fucked than this. And yet, we're fine. In this moment, we're fine. Here I am, there you are, breathing, talking, even laughing if we want. Is it very precious to say that despite it all, I'm happy? If you're happy, Karlak, I'm happy. In that case, something I wanted to ask you. Will you stay with me when it's time for me to go? I think I can do anything if you're there. Even die. Damn. Of course I'll be there, Karlak. Whatever you want. Thank you. Now. Enough tragedy, I'm not gone yet, and our schedule is packed with important heroics, isn't it? Plus, if I cry any more, I'm gonna run out of tears and start leaking motor oil. Thanks for everything, soldier. I'm extremely glad to be in this thing together. Well, that's gonna be pretty sad if that happens. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is the Aid the Underduke quest. But first, I am going to return to the dragon's lair and pick up a helm that I missed last episode. Let's go ahead and go to Worm's Rock. And I'll skip the video ahead to where I get to the helm itself. This place is so badass. And keep in mind y'all that filming a let's play versus live streaming versus playing offline, they're all very different experiences from one another. With a live stream, you're multitasking times 100. With a let's play, you're trying to keep things moving and entertaining, and you're not necessarily always rolling a 20 on perception checks. And when you're playing offline, you can just take your time. You're not worried about anybody watching you. You can stare at battlegrounds and figure out the perfect strategy. You can go to the traders and spend all day in the market just organizing your gear. Let me go check. That looks like the helm right there. Let me go check over here real fast. Is there another room in this room, this area? I don't think there is. Just keep that in mind. I can definitely work to improve my gameplay and not miss things, but I think even if I find a healthy balance, I'm always going to miss things. Not to mention everybody misses things, but most people don't post their gameplay and they'll never know the things that they miss. 
I'll work to improve that, but just something to keep in mind at the same time. Here we go, the Helm of Baldurin. The worm's tempest and his roar hurtle through you. Ansur's essence still lives within the helm, instilling you with power for as long as you wear it. Something opened up, too. Heavy is the head. Gale is inspired. Okay. This would get out of the way. There we go. The Helm of Baldoran. The helmet heals you two hit points at the beginning of every turn. You also have a plus one bonus to armor class and saving throws. You can't be stunned. And attackers can't land critical hits on the wearer. It's pretty sweet. Let's see what it looks like. A little doofy, but... I think I'll take it. All right, let me just double check in here. One more time. I don't think you can jump to over there. It doesn't look like it's something you can jump to. We're going to go ahead and head to the lower city wall waypoint and down into the guild hall. Okay. Kind of weird. Oh, their brain didn't sound like it was too smart. It's supposed to be a being of supreme intelligence. With all three nether stones in our possession, it is time to go to the Morphic Pool and face the Elder Brain. We return to find the guild hall at war. The Zentrum face off against the guild, hoping to topple Nine Fingers Keen. We gotta go down here on the map. The guild hall entrance. Which I stumbled on a few episodes ago. We're lost, aren't we? It should be right down here on the left. survived the fray. She will be right back to work in there. We ought to speak to her. She has you in her throw, Jahira. Minsk will steal her serpent tongue before it has a chance to twine around your thoughts. That she will definitely have something to say about. Well, this is Roa from the Zentrum faction. Ember strikes the first blow. It won't be the Zentrum that kills him. Okay, so the guild versus the Zentrum right now. I wonder if that's Nine Fingers Keen right there. I think it is. The Nine Fingers Keen is the leader of the guild organization. And the reason why she's called Nine Fingers is because when she was a child, she was taken by a one eyed elf from her parents. And that one eyed elf chopped off her, I think it's her left pinky finger? and sent it back to her parents and asked them for money. Her parents sent the money and she was returned, but she has never forgotten that. And that's kind of shaped her life. Now she's the leader of the biggest criminal organization in the city. All right, so it looks like Roa is showing yellow right now. So let's walk up instead of attacking. We have two criminal organizations here, so. Drop your weapons, bring out nine fingers, and this can all end peacefully. For you, at least. What's this, Stone Lord? It's a little late to change the terms of our deal. The pieces are already in place. This Stone Lord is no more. Boo and Jahira 
and my friend would not let me stay cursed. And the only terms we offer are between my boot and your treacherous buttocks. I see. That's unfortunate. And what about the adult in the room? Whatever I told that lot below, this will end in bloodshed. All you have to do is pick the right side. Hmm. Well, the Zentrum is a very powerful criminal organization. Scattered throughout, I think, the entirety of Faerun. The guild is... Baldur's Gate. What are you doing? Why turn on the guild? I'm not. I'm turning on nine fingers. This place has been due a change in management for some time. Her guild is disorganized, undisciplined. The cult broke them in a matter of days, while my Zentarim still stands strong. A guild under our control can do what Nine Fingers failed to. Drive the Absolute out of the city once and for all, and then remain on in the city to protect its good citizens from any future threats. For a reasonable fee, of course. My hamster can smell your lies, villain. Foul not his little nose. Fine. Let us talk of truth, then. Do your friends know how many you killed in the Absolute's name, Stone Lord? Do you? I do not call me that. Minsk is Minsk. Oh? I don't recall any tales of Minsk helping the likes of Nine Fingers. A known thief? A murderer? I thought Minsk of Rashomen served the side of good. <sighs> I'm the last to judge, big man. You were just following orders. And hey, that's all you have to do now. If you don't know what's right, just let the grown-ups talk. Because I know your friend will make a smart choice. I think I would want to help out Nine Fingers here, the actual leader of the guild. Because she's from this city. So the Absolute is threatening the city, and Nine Fingers, I think, is going to fight with more passion than the Zentrum faction. Also, keep in mind the Zentrum faction has a lot of history with Bane, the god of tyranny. We stand with the guild to get out of the way. You're making a big mistake. And for what? There's no sense in this! No profit! Nobody goes against the Zen and lives! You ready for Enough combat? Of your filth! Cover your ears, boo! The cracking of the necks of evil will be louder than the mating cries of a snow tiger! <laughs> Here we go! I'm assuming that the guild is showing up in yellow? Yes, they are. So it's gotta be careful with AoE. Oh, Roa, you don't want to stand on the edge like that. Not with a party with two high strength characters. Hey, look, it's Nine Fingers Keen. That's so exciting. Hold on, we got to examine her. Let me go back over to that. I've read a lot about Nine Fingers. Let's see if she's missing a pinky finger. There it is. Look at the stub right there on her left arm, too. Larian is accurate with the lore. Nine Fingers Keen, the Guild Master. Looks pretty cool. Level 12, wow. Alright, but we're fighting the Zentrum. Death so. greets us all, but not today. I wonder if Jahira could get the shove off here. Should have prepared more spells. I'm going to bring Jahira to the edge right here. Father, ease my way. We're going to pop off maybe a Call Lightning or a Conjure Elemental. Do Conjure Elemental. The concentration spells don't work as good in BG3 with the Moon Druid as they do in 5e. And we'll do a Fire Myrmidon, sure. And then I'm going to wild shape into the owlbear. Ah. 
All right, we got Scorching Strike, Permanate's Immolation. Oh, it's the Haste, wow. Ignite with incandescent primordial flames that hasten you. Sounds pretty cool if we can survive. Oh, we can. And then Cinder Swipe. See if we can reposition here. Awesome. You know, I don't support the guild, but it's pretty awesome to be fighting side by side with them at this moment in time. This is really cool. Keep thinking about the final battle in this game like is the guild gonna show up and we're all gonna fight together try to defeat the elder brain cool little battleground I gotta make sure that Nine Fingers stays alive because I want to talk to her. All right, Fern, get down there, girl. Hmm. <laughs> that's, that's too funny. Oh, Hasten's already gone? Oh, maybe I misunderstood that particular haste. Alright, Mr. Gilly Gal, let's get you on the high ground, my friends. wonder if it's worth doing a misty step. Sure. And then we're going to rain down hell with exactly the spell that you all are thinking about. Actually, that might be a little risky. Too many guild members down there. I could do it right here, though. Interesting. I think this whole thing is going to... Let's let's give this a try. We'll do level 3. I'm going to cast it right there, so it's hitting two Zentrum agents and no guild members, but it is going to take out the ladder and possibly this entire... the structure underneath Fern right now, so I think Fern's fine. Okay, risky, but it looks like we're still good. That was awesome. Nine Fingers is wielding a great axe. He's got 104 HP. All right, Minsk, I'm going to have you push Roa to her death. I mean, I can't get there. I don't know if that's enough movement to push her. Oh, it is. Don't have enough movement to shoot, though. Not her, at least. Minsk is doing some sniping over here. Holy cow. Oh my god. Dude. Is that what a level 12 fighter is like? Holy crap. You gotta get over there and get that guy. That's freaking nuts, dude. And great weapon master bonus attack, too. That's what happened. 
All right, let's... It might be time to go help out Nine Fingers Keen. And we're going to do that by coming up here. Do I have Dimension Door? I don't. Dash. is a bard vicious mockery I don't know if I want to counterspell that I'll do it what is she throwing that's awesome That'd be funny if the entire thing collapsed. Heck's that guy doing? Pretty straightforward battle here. I don't think I got anything to worry about. Run, boo, run! Who must go through the fire? Fight side by side with Wolf. Alright, 28 HP. Pretty sure we're going to be resting after this. Because like I said, I think the next quest that we do is the actual final quest of the game. I could go all out here. Let's use... I'm gonna help out Nine Fingers Keen. It's gonna conjure an air elemental. Weep if you wish. Minsk will not judge. Wow, I made it all the way down and in. That's incredible. The problem is I can't, I'm afraid to use Whirlwind because I think it's going to hit the guild members. So we're just going to do regular attacks. I should hit F5, right? the big folk. You know, additional damage equal the proficiency bonus. On a hit, large, huge, or gargantuan creatures take an additional 2 to 12 slashing damage. This creature's not large, but next time we fight, I mean, we're not going to be fighting too many other creatures. I bet you the Elder Brain is considered a large or gargantuan creature. We'll try to remember to use the topple the big folk attack.
And I got that weapon action from the Dragon Slayer sword. Coated in purple worm toxin. Yeah, we can't do the crushing flight. Do a regular jump. Minus 20 HP and prone, really? Okay, I guess we'll just go down. Forgetting to enrage. Lasts for three turns. Costs a bonus action. Also makes nearby creatures fearful. Let's give it a try. Probably better to use that at the start of your turn, but. Ooh, it's a good thing I. Everybody succeeded. Because those are. That actually affected everybody. Don't turn on me, guild. That's all I ask. Who's under the water right here? I think it's only one enemy. Oh no, Roa's still alive. Where the heck's Roa? Oh, she's back here. Okay. Let's get her. Beautiful. Oh, I did fear that guy. Hopefully he doesn't turn hostile on us. Uh-oh. What's the plan you got going here? What the heck is Minsk doing? Oh, he's feared right now. That's why. Because of the owlbears were rage. I'm pretty sure that's what did it. Oopsie. Great, now Minsk is blocking the way. the rules of combat don't apply to this guy that's just walking around over here. Where'd he go? He's in here somewhere. Just going about his merry day. Look at him. Alright, 41 HP. Let's go ahead and do Scorching Ray. Minus 23 HP and prone. I'm doing it. Nice. You're not knocking my ranger prone. Get out of here with that nonsense. Very nice, nine fingers. Okay, one target left, I think. Maybe two. There we go. We helped Nine Fingers defeat the Zentrum. We should speak to the Guild Master. After I loot the bodies that I'm allowed to loot. Monster Slayer Glaive. Bloodied Great Axe. Stolen Golden Bag. Temple Trader's Key. Intricate Key. 10k gold? Are you serious? Holy crap. 
That's crazy. Makes sense. All right, Jahira, we're going to need you to get out of your wild shape form. You're scaring everybody. Is it the earth beneath the crunches or the bones within? I think there's a trap down here or something. I don't really need all this stuff. Okay, let's go talk to the guild. Where is she? Can't give up now. Somebody playing the flute? Oh wow, this is cool. <laughs> help, help. Alright. Come on, we gotta get rid of these guys. Sorry, Fern. I got quite the crew here, don't I? Well, in it. That guy looks like the trader here. Let's take a quick look and see what he has. You won't catch me looting all that shiny Zent armor. I'd rather go into battle bare arsed. <laughs> nice, okay. Oh my god, it's Oscar! I don't remember on this playthrough. Did I talk to Oscar in Act 1? can't remember. On this particular character, I've done so many runs in Early Access, and I also have my live character, my evil run, going side by side. This guy is, was captured by the Zentrum in the Zentrum hideout back in Act 1 near Joaquin's Rest. And now he's at the guild hideout, so let's talk to him. Huh. You look rather more refined than the usual thugs walking these halls. I don't suppose you have any interest in fine art? Apparently I haven't met him yet. Uh, who are you? My name is Oscar Fevras. Though I doubt you'll have heard it. My stardom has waned somewhat recently, but I was once fated as one of the city's most promising artists. These days my oeuvre is less original shall we say, but no less in demand. In fact, you're fortunate to have caught me just now. I have a rather special piece that's become unexpectedly available. I assure you, it's identical to the original, down to the finest brushstroke. A fine piece to hang on the wall of anyone you decide to sell it to. He's a salesman. So it's a counterfeit. Of course not. It's absolutely real. I painted it myself. It is simply derived from an existing source of inspiration. I'll take a look. Fake portrait of a noble before his death. <laughs> That's too funny. These things have stayed interesting. I'm sorry, sweetie pie. I don't do requests. But toss me a few coppers, and I'll shoot you a saucy wink across the bar. <laughs> Alright, let's hand over some coins. Very kind of you, sir. I'll be dedicating the next keening elven ballad to you. You look like the type to enjoy one. Sweet. Alright, where's Nine Fingers Keen? See anything you like? Let's talk price. See anything of yours? This is the trader. Fetcher isn't himself, so I'm running the shop. You buying or selling? Where do you get the items that you sell? And we're not gonna ask questions here. Show me what you got. We don't want to know the answers to that. All right, let's see if they got anything good. The Shade Slayer Cloak. While hiding, the number you need to roll a critical hit while attacking is reduced by one. Honestly, I might just get it. 
because I have a ton of money and I want to see what it looks like. Sure, we'll just do that. Other than that, or just maroon die. Yeah, I think we're good here. Sure, we'll take four of those. We'll take all of those. Okay. Sometimes stuff we to see what that cloak looks like real fast. I have more money right now that I won't be able to make use of. That's pretty sweet. Hey. Oh, we got a bartender here. That Rashimi Firewind? So the guild comes out on top. Sometimes nine fingers are all you need, eh? What are you having? A drink, bartender. Drunken cloth. While drunk, you have advantage on constitution saving throws. You gain temporary hit points equal to your con modifier. That's so funny. You gotta do like a drunk build in this game. All right, so nine fingers is somewhere over here to the left. Here she is. It's so cool to be in her hideout right now. Kind of you to take the Zenta room down first. That doesn't make us friends. Come on then, Stone Lord. If you mean to take my chair, you'll get no better chance than this. Minsk has no interest in your furniture, Nine Fingers. <laughs> Only in the wicked rump that fills it. What? You have been a stone in this city's boot for too long. And it will be no stone lord who reaches twixt border and sticky toes to dislodge you. It will be Minsk. I haven't got the slightest idea what he's trying to say. Minsk, calm down. The battle is over. So the hound answers to his name again, does he? And you didn't have to put him down. Ooh. Good. I'd rather you die as Minsk the mad Rashimar. It's silly, but... Do you know? You were something of a hero of mine when I was young. Even now, your tongue twists the truth. When you were young and ten-fingered still, Minsk and Boo were stone. Instatuated on a city square. Aye. I remember the spot. By a garden on the wide. A soft thicket near the market with ample pockets to pick. Celestia itself to a street rat looking for shelter. You might not have been wrestling monsters, but you kept the wind and the rain off. Heroic enough for me. <sighs> you tried to dampen Boo's eyes. Do not think you will be spared his teeth. Evil is evil, even if it was once innocent. Oh, I'm no innocent. But evil? Will you tell me? With the fist, the watch, and the council itself all licking the absolute boots, who's the only one left standing to protect Baldur's Gate? She's right, Minsk. She's been an ally down through the years. A friend, even. A friend? Jahira, Boo cannot believe his ears. Has the city fallen so far in our absence? Are there no heroes left? Heroes come and go. But the guild has always been here protecting the city. Until the Stone Lord came to break us. She's right. The guild will fight for the city. We just have to let them. Nice. I am shamed. Nadeshka. Unworthy to fight alongside my friends. Ooh. What am I to do? I can't speak for your rodent. But I know something of debts. If you reckon you've got one to repay, well, we could always work together. 
With you? <laughs> Minsk has no lust for gold. That he would shake grandmothers by their ankles, or set Boo nibbling at their purse strings. I'm not talking about that. We've both got bigger enemies than one another. The city's enemies. And, tears honest truth, you gave my guild the wake-up call it needed. We've grown complacent, lazy, too sure of our standing. We never would have needed the Zent if we'd had a fighting force of our own. Swords for the city when the Watch and the Fist fail us. Like a berserker lodge of my homeland. No army or militia serving the local lords, but heroes working for the common good. Heroes? Sure. Very well. Minsk and Boo accept! I'm sorry, you... You what? Boo and I will be your Berserker Lodge, taking the ugly ways of your guild and beating them into a more virtuous shape. That's... not even slightly what I was saying. I wasn't asking... You are right. I have proven myself unworthy. I cannot serve this city if I was so easily turned against it. If I do not know my own mind, perhaps I no longer know what is good. Minsk, I'm fairly certain that good is literally the only thing that you do know. My friend, I am touched by your kind words. And now I must be equal to them. What say you, Boo? When the Absolute is slain, shall we join Nine Fingers Keen and show her the ways of goodness? You did say he was your hero, Estelle. Uh, maybe you'll learn something. Oh, can't we just go back to killing one another instead? <laughs> <sighs> All right, fine. Let's leave this particular fight for when the actual war is won, shall we? With the Stone Lord off my back, I'll be able to bring my people out of hiding. Cobble together a force, so we're ready when you call on us. You have my thanks. Though, I'm still not actually sure you haven't made my life that little bit harder. Awesome. That was an interesting conversation. I love the interactions with Jahira and Minsk with Nine Fingers Keen. Because they have a history with her in this city. We talk to her one more time. You have a cult to kill. What do you need from me to do it? I need information. Knowing what I know usually comes at a cost. But let's say we'll put it on your tab. How is it you know so much about the cult of the Absolute and its leaders? Simple enough. After Jahira warned me and then disappeared, I went nosing into the cult for myself. I could bore you with the details. How I found evidence of Gortash's projects, traced him to Orin the Red, and made a safe bet there was some dried out old necromancer to round out the three. Because it's always the dead, bloody three. Has been half gods who can't help but make their irrelevance everyone else's problem. There's more to it than just the dead three. Oh. You've got some juicy little tidbit I haven't heard yet. Oh, man. You know what? I'm going to tell her. We're going to tell her about the enslaved elder brain, the astral prism. I think that we're both on the same side here for this particular issue. Huh. Hmm. It seems like my intelligence on you was patchy at best. That's annoying. So what do you plan to do now that you know? I had no intention of leaving my city in the Dead Three's hands. Definitely not leaving it to some slimy shit that doesn't even have hands. So, as long as you can keep a lid on what's growing inside you, we're allies. Until you can't, and we're not. Simple enough, I reckon. Now, war to be fought. You need anything?
Minsk went from an enemy to an asset. You're welcome. Enemies and assets are all the guild know. Don't think I won't use him. If the Rashimar wants to work off a blood debt, I won't turn him down. <laughs> Scares my kingpins shitless. My guild was too fractured to stand up to the absolute. Too corrupt to see the threat within. I reckon a little bit of hamster talk might be good for them. <laughs> and you're sure you'll handle Minsk so easily as that? <sighs> what? I was trying to spy a nice warm spot for Boo's bedding. I think I'll manage. We need to survive the fight to come first. So let's save our talk for a bright new day. Hmm? The story you told Minsk, was any of it true? You can't just swallow every bit of storybook tripe that you hear. Do I strike you as a little lost girl looking for a hero? Now lose the stupid look on your face and tell me what you need. <laughs> okay. Oh, we can actually question her about uh, back when we first came to Rivington for the first time, we met with Arfur, that guy who didn't want refugees staying in his house. Arfur sent, I think it was the guild. And we ended up fighting the guild when we first came to Rivington. Let me ask her about that. You have a cult to kill. I ran into some of your thugs, you the Rivington rats. Oh, did you enjoy the encounter? I don't think they enjoyed it. Ian. <laughs> I have no doubt you gave them a good talking to. The rats usually keep a lid on their nastier notions, but with the Stone Lord business distracting me, some are starting to test the leash. All the more reason to be rid of the cult quickly, so I can remind my crews it's not a leash round their necks if they cross me. It's a noose. Okay. We help the guild defeat the Zentrum. They will aid us in the final fight against the cults. We have one more objective for this episode. <laughs> That's clever. One more objective to do to end episode 26. Then episode 27 is going to be the final episode. And that is help Kithrak Voss. So we retrieve the Orphic Hammer. We should bring it to Voss who's waiting for us in the Undercity. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward and teleport us down to the sewers in the Undercity. And we have arrived. See, we got the sewers right here, the Undercity, and then Kithrak Voss is showing up on the map right here, right through this door. If not over, then through. There he is. With Kudenos, a red dragonborn. Closer. Tell me what you see. Consider the Dragonborn's face and mannerisms. Is there anything unusual about him? Hmm. Let's use one inspiration point, then I have to save the rest for the final episode. I'm really curious right now, though. His voice carries the weight of untold centuries, and his ridges are scarred with uncounted battles. This is no dragonborn. This is a red dragon, the very same who carried Voss near the Gith Crash. Wow. I know you, Red Dragon. Voss was riding you near Crush Elek. It is so. Call me Kudenos. Master of flames, splitter of skies. I will be the one to carry Voss into battle against Vlakith. And I will be the one to breathe the flames that melt her. That's awesome. A red dragon rebel? How many more of you are there? More than I could count. We were pacted by the archdevil Tiamat and forced to serve the Gith Yankee. It is to the people that I'm loyal, not to the Lich Vlakith, a corpse in Gith clothing. I know Orpheus, just as I knew his mother. A new future will be planted in the wake of the comet. 
feel like Larian did a better job with the facial animations on the Dragonborn than any other race. Surprising. Until we meet again, mortal. I look forward to fighting alongside you. Vlakith will tremble at the sound of our roar. That guy's awesome. Ah, you finally come. Have you retrieved the Orphic Hammer? Will our prince's chains finally be broken? Where are the rest of your allies, Voss? The remaining honor guard serve as my eyes and ears. Vlakith's forces hunt you and the prism. My allies have slayed more than you know, so that you might travel freely. As for those that break through, you've proven more than capable of bleeding them yourself. I've retrieved the hammer. The Prince of the Comet is not dead. The Prince of the Comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from the Lich Queen's tyranny. The prophecy is one step closer to fruition. Among the Githyanki, one gift is esteemed above all others. The Silver Sword. Take it. Wield it in honor of Gith, the great liberator, and her unforgotten son. Wow. Istik. Now that you have the hammer, you must find a way to enter the astral prism. Once inside, smash Orpheus's bonds. His cry will shake the plains, and I will fly to your aid. The Prince of the Comet will sear the heavens again. First we'll defeat the Absolute, then we let the Lich Queen tremble. Think again. I will not permit your entry. Let's ignore the Emperor. Questions, Istik. You seem to be lost in thought. Getting into the Astral Prism will be complicated. Yes, but you will meet this challenge, as you've met so many others. Orpheus sensed the Tadpole before, and his guard attacked. Won't he attack if we free him? The Prince of the Comet aches for Githyanki liberation more than he abhors Geich. He might seethe when you free him. He might gnash his teeth and slander your name. But he will see reason. I promise you. Istik, friend to Orpheus. Together we will end the Elder Brain which shakes this city. Then I turn my sights to Vlakith, the Queen of Deceit. When you bring Prince Orpheus free, his psionic cry will alert us. I will fly to your side. Together, we will fell the Elder Brain and thwart the Grand Design. Alright, it seems like we have some allies on our side now. We showed Voss the Orphic Hammer and he gave us a powerful silver sword, the highest grade of weapon in Githyanki custom. He left to prepare for the revolution that will follow Orpheus's deliverance. 12 to 32 damage. When wielded by a Githyanki, this weapon deals an additional 1 to 6 psychic damage. A Githyanki holding this weapon has advantage on intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws, resistance to psychic damage, and cannot be charmed. A little bit higher damage potential, but also a lower minimum damage. And I'm also not a Githyanki, but a really good sword. And actually, if you kill Voss back in Act 1 when you first encounter him, you can get this sword right away in Act 1. I don't think I'll be using it, though. just check this out because I haven't seen that before. Oh yeah, this is just going to bring us back to the other room. But I think that's it for this episode. We killed Gortash. We made allies with the guild. Killed some Zentrum agents while we were there. The Gur people are grateful for our role in taking down Kazador Zar, so they're going to help us fight the Elder Brain. Valeria feels indebted to us for having saved her from an untimely death. See, she and her City Watch are prepared to support us in the final battle. The Valeria is from the City Watch, which is the guard force for the upper city, the rich folks, guards. Grand Duke Ravenguard is on our side, and also, of course, Nine Fingers with the guild. 
first, I would like to go back to camp before I end the episode and see if anybody has anything to say on everything that occurred today. And that way, in the final episode, we can focus purely on the main mission. But to the elf song we go. We'll talk to Scratch and the Owlbear Cub again, too. My friend. Now we have settled the matter of the guild. I fear there is something I must tell you. You and Boo both. It may shock you both to know, but Minsk and this Stone Lord, they are one man. Mm. The same one man. And that same one man is Minsk. Uh, I'm aware, Minsk. You tried to kill me multiple times. Never has Boo been more proud of my failures. I wish to believe the Stone Lord's evil was the worm alone, attainting my thoughts with foul dung. But I see now the dung was within Minsk all along. So I wonder if Minsk can be a villain and Nine Fingers a hero. Must it be so with all creatures? Is there good and evil within us all? <laughs> Boo calls this nonsense. Less thinking of bad thoughts, says he, and more breaking of bad bones. But still, I would hear what you have to say on the matter, my friend. Everyone has the potential for good. It's just buried deeper in some, or lost along the way. I see. In the case of Nine Fingers, perhaps it was all bunched up in that finger she lost. It shall be for Minsk and Boo to be her virtuous pinky. <laughs> it is strange. A worm sits within my skull, twisting my thoughts. But it is you that have made Minsk see the world anew. You, my friend, are the true parasite. There is good and evil in all. Let us go crack villainous skulls so that the virtue might leak free. Yes, Boo. I am becoming something of a philosophizer. I think that's it. Nobody else had anything to say, so that's going to be it for this episode. In tomorrow's episode, the final episode, we confront the Elder Brain with all of our allies. We'll catch you all on the next one.